tune, mate. We set off to make a documentary about Bournemouth Seaside. The idea? To find out what it's like to live and work by the coast. Hi, I'm Elliot Wright, and this is my crew. We wanted to ask about the seasonality of coastal businesses and the problems that come with the location. I'm going to go around, maybe ask talk to a few locals, see what's going on and just kind of get a bit of a gist of things. We hope to see a little rivalry between the OG local businesses and the new corporate ones. The only problem was, no one would talk to us. It turns out, almost all the seafront shops and amusements are owned by the council and can't talk to us without their permission. On top of this, they've issued massive construction works. The high-vis workers and construction equipment on an overcast British day didn't really give us a picturesque beach aesthetic we were looking for. After hours of failure, it looked like our documentary might have come to an end. It'd be very comfortable just to chuck it like that, which, you know, if you did that to somebody's yeah, fender, wouldn't many, they wouldn't be pleased, yeah, would they? No, we met James at the very end of our shoot. When we thought all hope was lost, I was immediately caught with his ease with the camera and his overwhelming willingness to talk to us. I need, I need a boss to get me to work so instead of going windsurfing, really. Well, wow, I've got a little boat. Oh, really? 19 foot boat, yeah. But I'm staying with my girlfriend in Salisbury, we've got a child and all that. Yeah. Like if you're in a car and you have your hand like that, so going like that, you're getting a bit like aeroplane feel out of it. So go, go like that, that. it goes like that, doesn't it? He told us about his relationship with the seaside and his own project. A waterproof guitar, perfect for playing while on the water. You see, this here, yeah. it's made from carbon fibre. Okay. And it's actually a windsurfing it, right, mask. So yeah, yeah, pick it up, yeah. It breaks the world record. Okay, uh, so you've got the tuning all perfect and everything. Yeah, down there, you see? Yeah, the tuning oh, on the wow. pegs down there. But I've lost one of my strings. Uh -huh. I bust it, because... I mean, I've been walking around with this for about five, four or five years now. Oh, really? But wow, as you can really imagine, like, yeah. I really like what it's made out of. I looked at the bottom of my windsurfing mast, and I thought, there's a guitar. <laughs> really? On his advice, we went to his YouTube channel and found some impressive footage of James's guitars in action. <laughs> Guy. Total wind. I like windsurfing. I like wind and I like a bit of waves. And also, I'm a nuisance on the beach in the summer because if it's full of people, the last thing they want is some bloke carting sort of windsurfing kit down. Uh, I gave you my uh, email. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, I'll give you, I'll give you my. <laughs> well, I'm hopefully going to be building myself a raft okay. uh, to practice. We left James to build his raft and set off back home. <laughs> set of my life and dogging. So I've just looked at his leaflet here, we have. It's, um, you know, it's limited uh, information. He's even done a drawing here to um, show what yeah, the picture is doing. We wanted to talk to James further, and he seemed very interested. However, scheduling conflicts around the Christmas break meant we couldn't have another meeting. We went to Bournemouth Beach to catch something special, to find out how the beachfront businesses and industries connect with the locals and tourists. While we may have failed here, we did capture someone special and his extremely personal connection to the area around the seaside. <laughs> I, I hope I can be out and paddling out and have yeah. a jam on my guitar. So. Yeah, cool. All right, bro. Thank you very awesome. much. Thank you. No Thank, you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you.